Well, it looks like he's staying. Kevin De Bruyne has signed a new contract extension with Manchester City until the year 2025. We're going to go ahead and break down the deal as well as some of our favorite memories of Kevin De Bruyne in this edition of The High Press with Connor Robinson. Hey everyone, this is Connor from Down the Block Sports bringing you a special news update. Kevin De Bruyne, Manchester City midfielder, has signed an extension until 2025. You probably guessed that by the intro, but we're going to go ahead and kick things off. Let's make sure that we like this video and subscribe to Down the Block Sports for all of our exclusive content. And uh, why don't you smack the like button and leave a comment below. Why don't you tell me what you think about this deal that Manchester City have gotten over the line for Kevin De Bruyne. Um, he, uh, a really great deal to have a two-year extension until 2025. Um, it's been a, a while that this has been going on. It seems like they've been talking about extending him for at least the better part of a season. Um, he's been at the club for about five and a half years now. Um, you know, he's 29, great age to extend him. He's got over 100 assists. Since joining the club, you know, eight goals, 15 just this season. And uh, he's got, you know, himself into the all time top 10 for the Premier League. So, really, in five and a half years to have that level of influence, I mean, we're talking about like, you know, a, a lot of history in the Premier League. I know it's a, a relatively new setup considering, you know, the first old division there, but really great. You know, one of my favorite players, I think he's absolutely world-class. I think he epitomizes what City are trying to do. I think he is going to allow Pep's style to flourish. I mean, we've already seen that. He, he had equaled the Premier League assist record set by Thierry Henry. Um, and I think this is, this is a statement signing. I think Pep is looking at it as we got him locked down. We are going to be the big boys in Europe for the next five years. And, I mean, look at what's happened with Barcelona with their their financial troubles. They're not going to be able to pick up a player of that caliber. Real Madrid probably don't even have him on his on their radar. Maybe they're looking at Pogba, considering his deals up next summer. But um, for me, this is the best team in the Premier League getting the best player locked in. You're looking at Liverpool and their struggles with, you know, Mo Salah has a lot of goals, sure, but Sadio Mane has kind of fallen off. Um, you know, Roberto Firmino has kind of fallen off. And, you know, what other clubs in the Premier League are having that caliber of player at this moment? I, I don't really know who's playing to the level that he's playing. And, you know, I'll, I'll just say it now. I, I think he's the best player in the Premier League. I've been saying that for about two or three years now. He picks a pass that no one else can see. He gets the ball. He looks up. He knows where he's going. He looks before he gets the pass. He looks after he gets the pass. The pass goes. He's able to single-handedly to break down a defense. And it's a shame that he doesn't have more assists. I mean, I've watched Raheem Sterling and Gabriel Jesus consistently miss sitters. And it pisses me off because you're getting – what other player in the world can hit a pass like that? I, I can't think of any a single player who can hit a pass of that caliber, of that ilk, of, of just being able to just be weighted to, to perfection, to be hit 40, 50 yards, or, you know, be able to whip a ball in or outside the boot. I mean, the guy has everything in the locker. I don't see another player in the Premier League of that caliber. So I honestly think that we should enjoy it while it lasts. Um, you know, just going to kind of look at some of his stats as well. Um, so looking at some of his stats, you know, cause of course one football won't work on my desktop. I had to get my laptop, my phone here. Um, since joining from Wolfsburg in 2015, he has 65 goals and 105 assists in 20, 255 matches responsible for 170 goals and 255 matches. You know what that sounds a lot like to me is Sergio Aguero. Um, that sounds like a clinical player who is able to get the ball and to do things and to create opportunities. He has, like I said, he's won the PFA Player of the Year for 2020, 
And, um, you know, he's even said that he's happy to be in Manchester. He's got three kids. He wants to stay in Manchester. So really great um, to see. I know he's got two league titles. He has um, one FA Cup and four league cups. Hopefully he'll be adding more trophies this season. It looks like City are a lock for a Premier League, you know, title this year. About 14 points up on United with about seven or eight games left to play. So, I think it's a lock for City to win the title. But I will say this. If the if the Premier League clubs around them, you know, Liverpool, Chelsea, I mean, Chelsea, I think, needs more time. But if Liverpool don't figure out what's going on, I mean, you know, yes, they have a lot of injuries at the back. Um, so they'll just need to, I, but I do think they need to freshen things up. They've had that front three for a while. If... Man United don't get someone in the door. They need to sell Pogba now and get someone in the door. They need to get Sancho. But if if the other clubs around City can't get a player comparable to De Bruyne or find a good world-class player, I think that's what the league needs is more world-class players because De Bruyne, in my opinion, every time he laces up his boots, he changes the game, and he's the best player on the pitch. It doesn't matter. I think for City this year, you know, it's tough because Ruben Diaz has been such a great presence at the back, and that has been a really great signing as well. But ultimately, I do think De Bruyne, when it comes down to it, De Bruyne has a bigger influence. I, I know that John Stones and Ruben Diaz are playing so well, but I mean, De Bruyne, man, you, you can't, you couldn't buy, you can't buy quality like that. Like, you, like, they were able to buy Ruben Diaz and it instantly made an impact. They were able to buy Laporte, instantly make an impact. De Bruyne has made an impact for five and a half years. He scored winners against Chelsea. He scored goals against Watford. He scored He scored in the in Champions League. He's provided assists. He is able to put the armband on, which I think after this season, no-brainer, he should have the armband Um if Pep doesn't give him the armband, he's a fucking idiot, and I'm sorry for cursing as well. But I, 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 how can you look at a player of that caliber and say I honestly think he's a top four player in the world? He's he's the, arguably one of the best players in the world right now. Top four has to be um, top five a lock, yeah. But I, I honestly would say that he's probably the third plus third best player in the world right now. Behind, I would say it's probably Lionel Messi. Um, you know, Lionel Messi, Mbappe, and then him. I, I and I would love to see Mbappe at City, but I, I, I don't. Know. That could be a whole other video where I rank the best players in the world. But you know, thanks for tuning in to this edition. Make sure you like the video, uh, subscribe to Down the Block Sports, smack that notification bell, hit the like button on this one, and why don't you leave a comment below? Tell me what your thoughts are on Kevin De Bruyne and this you know exciting new deal for him. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.